Welcome back to the sawmill, guys. I am Jerry, and this is going to be the first day other than when I milled a few weeks ago with a friend when he was my swamper, that I'm at the sawmill by myself. <clears throat> I have a 12-foot, 6-inch white oak on here. It's not a really good-looking white oak, but I need 6 by 6s and I'll get it out of this. So let's check how big it is. It's 12-foot, 6, 10 inches. nine nine and a half so we're gonna get a nice six inch cant out of that with no problem i need technically i need five 30 inch six by sixes is that right 30 yeah that will do it will i get five out of that 30 oh there's 12 feet six inches how many inches 144 150 inches right yep so I can get five. I can get five out of this minus the curve for the chainsaw. So it'd be like 29 and a half. Where's that put me? How high are these? I'm building something. Yeah, that will actually work good. <clears throat> I think that dimension will work really good. So let's get this cut up. This is. I guess it should only take about four cuts. So whatever size can't this turns out to be is the size I'm keeping it. This will be a quick video. to block this off so it doesn't hit the side of the blade guide so we're gonna go like this that way the blade guide will get past that knot I'm gonna go down another inch to get rid of this knot and get rid of this. Plus I'll get a nice board out of it. Achoo! Achoo!
So if you look, I have a lot of space from the end of here to this bunk right here. So what I'm gonna do is put that uh, removable bunk in there. a seven and a quarter inch rope so I can't get I didn't realize this won't fit through some chatter in there. You probably heard that. I think that's because I was probably cutting too slow. I'm not 100% sure. Boy, that's a good looking beam. Let me give you a close up of this. Let's give you a close up of this. That was that not at the beginning. That's not going to be a problem though. But not a bad looking lug for how ugly it looked on the outside. One, two, those are the only three knots. We got it all milled up. I'm happy. Today's Saturday. Uh, to, obviously, tomorrow's Sunday. My boy's coming over tomorrow. He's got some logs he wants to get milled up. So we're going to mill some tomorrow as well. But this will be come out this coming Tuesday, just a six by six. And what I'm building. Many of you have seen uh, Song with Sandy's uh, bucking table. And so many of us have built these bucking tables since then. Uh, I'm going to build the same one, something very similar to it. My processor works great, but for some of the big crazy wood and twisted stuff, it'd be nice if I had a little bucking table. So I'm going to make the legs out of six by sixes. Then I'll put the four by fours across the top. So that's what I'm building, guys. All right, guys, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment. I'm really enjoying conversing with a lot of you guys. So many of you comment every single time. It's really neat. It's kind of a little community, a uh, little fellowship. I really enjoy it. So if you don't mind, leave me a comment. And what I'd like to know this time is where are you from? I ask that every now and then, uh, but I haven't asked it in a while. And I'd like to know some of you I kind of remember. And, you know, we start talking about regions and rain. You know, we're getting rain while the... It'd be nice if I knew if they were within my region or something or the weather or what have you, species of trees. So if I know where you're at, it kind of helps me too mentally when I, I'm able to uh, respond back to your comments. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, hit that little ring notification button and you'll, you'll find out every time I send out a video. We try to get out videos once or twice a week. I'm back at the mill now. My knee, guys, is absolutely fantastic. The reason I got my knee done, guys, I had arthritis. It hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. Zero. A lot of you are telling me, oh, take it easy on that knee. Be careful with that knee. I didn't get my knee redone to sit around and do nothing in the house. Yes, I'll be careful. I'm still going to stand on things. I've been doing balance stuff my entire life. But I am going to be cautious. You know, I'm not going to go paired. I'm not going to go skydiving. I'm not going to play tackle football. I would like to get in back into jiu-jitsu again, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I hope I can do that maybe by this summer, um, three months after it takes for that bone to grow around that prosthetic. But I didn't do this to sit around and feel good. I did this to feel good doing stuff and being active. And my doctor is all supportive of it. So I'm going to keep, keep moving around. Now, yeah, probably a couple of things I probably shouldn't do, but I'm going to keep keep climbing things, keep standing up on logs, jumping up here. 
I won't. If I slip, it would have broke my leg anyhow, probably. Excellent log. Going to make some nice 29 and a half inch legs. So that's going to put my bucking table right about there. And I hope that's about right. Maybe I'll message Sandy and see what he... And I know a few others of you have built them too. If you got a bucking table, let me know also in the comments. Here comes a sneeze. I'm going to let you guys go. Take care. Oh, come on. I think it's allergies. It's not going to come out. I've been getting on these sneezing fits. It'll just go and go and go. All right, guys, I'm done. Have a great day.